misconception about the cars that we build is that they're somehow just a Camaro with a body kit. During an average six-week build time, a car will move through nine independent workstations. With the exception of the doors, every body part that can be removed from the car is taken off. We will replace over 350 parts. These are components that are created by our design and engineering staff, guys that are continually collaborating to make sure that the finished product not only lives up to its iconic namesake, but gives the customer the complete and ultimate Trans Am experience. Fenders, hood, front fascia, rear fascia, headlights, taillights, tires, wheels, grills, headliner, seats, carpet, console, door panels, dash inserts, and gauges. At the end of the day, we're basically left with a rolling chassis. Our performance department installs suspension upgrades, brake packages, transmission and rear end enhancements. Currently we offer four performance packages. Our most popular package seems to be what we call our 840 Extreme Package, which consists of this LSX 454 motor. From mild to wild. First thing we do is we install some dual titanium valve springs on this, custom ground camshaft, which allows us to put a lot of boost on this motor. We put an extra heavy duty cooling system with our intercooler to produce some pretty gnarly horsepower. From 500 to over 850 horsepower. The T-top phase is where the car will meet what we affectionately refer to as the Dragon Slayer. My knowledge, we're the only company in the country right now that are doing T-tops. Not only are we the only people installing T-tops, we're doing it better than it's ever been done. This is a very strategically mapped and highly exact procedure. Technology that no T-top outfitter has ever had access to before with the modern standards that we hold ourselves to, which is CAD precise cuts, modern composites, carbon fiber, high strength steels. I mean, customers see our cars and they freak out. They stop us in traffic, they stop us in fast food lines. Anytime we bring the cars out, we got to give ourselves an extra hour to get home. Depending on the model, we'll install up to six different wiring harnesses, resistors, mounting brackets, oscillating halos, and the working mechanism for the hideaway headlights on our GTO. After all the electrical enhancements, our cars move out to the paint department. The process begins in our decontamination quarters. This is where we fit our body parts, sand, prime, and prep for paint. Our paint department uses the most modern technology and techniques available. Two GFS downdraft baking systems hooked back to back. Chassis comes in this paint booth here. The second booth is loaded with all the components so that I can spray everything all at once for a perfect color match. Close the doors, put rigid clear on all the metal parts, and flex clear on all the other components. We have a third paint booth that's used exclusively for custom graphics. 30 years of painting, I've never been able to spray in a facility like this. CPG has provided us with their latest touchscreen computer system. Combined with the mixing system, allows us to get not only perfect OEM color match, but a massive catalog of custom colors. We are very fortunate to have one of the most highly decorated and acclaimed painters in the country. Someone who's walked away with multiple international national awards. With the quality of the paint we use and our hand finished attention to detail, even our standard finish is visibly better than OEM. We know these cars by name. When a car goes to a car show, we hear about it, we all get excited. Hey man, did you hear about the kids car? Did you hear about this car? Look, we won another prize. Those types of details and that type of excitement, you're not going to get that on a normal assembly line. Each car that receives a performance package eventually goes to our sister facility where we dyno tune and calibrate each car independently for optimum performance and maximum horsepower. The cars arrive at the reassembly station is where we see them really start to come along. In a matter of hours, they transform. And then perhaps the most rewarding part of my job, the road test. There are so many options that are available to our customers. At the end of the process, it's highly likely that they may have the only car like that that's ever been made. 
With so much business pouring in, we were turning customers away left and right. And whether it's a local guy in Tallahassee or Canada or Hawaii, the Middle East, Europe, we're blowing up for global sales, which is why we created Transam Worldwide. We got this new 30,000 square foot facility with tools, carbon fiber, new ABS components, new acrylic hatches. We've got more engineers. We've got SolidWorks on every computer in the shop. The Hearst edition was so wildly popular. That edition is sold out. We made a decision to come out with a very limited number of bandit editions. Trans Ams. 77 that are only going to be built one time. It's an absolute dream to be part of it.